Hello, everybody. How's it going? We're talking about Percival by Parfums de Marly. Do I like this scent? Yeah, I like it. Do I love it? No. Is it worth it? I'll get into that. But long story short, this is a fragrance that's marketed as a masculine scent. And funny enough, when my sister first smelled this fragrance, she thought that it was more feminine. She was like, I feel like that would smell much better on women. And I was like, hey, hot take. Hot take, I'm not mad at that, but yeah, I can kind of see what you're talking about. Now for me, the first thought that came to my mind when I smelled Percival was Fierce by Abercrombie & Fitch, and that is a good and a bad thing. The good thing is that Fierce is a likable scent. It reminds me of my adolescence, right? So it kind of gave me nostalgic vibes when I first smelled this fragrance. The bad thing is the fact that I made that association where when I sprayed this fragrance, another scent came to my mind. You know what I mean? When I'm considering a scent that is gonna run over $300 and the first thing that comes to my mind is like a $90 scent, kind of jolts the ratings a little bit. You know what I mean? It's just kind of with the other Parfums de Marly ones that I've tried, with the exception of Sedley, because Sedley reminded me of Oceania, but I, I honestly prefer Oceani, but they're still niche fragrances, right? With, with Percival, it reminded me of, you know, a scent that was like less than half the price of this, which is kind of, you know, which is why when I asked, is it worth it? Yes and no, all right? I think that this is definitely worth it to people who are not really into fragrances. If you're looking to blind buy this as a gift, like a bougie blind buy, then Percival is solid. Somebody making the transition from designer to niche fragrances is gonna enjoy this. Now to me, this smells very orangey and minty. And the thing is, I don't even believe that mint is listed in this fragrance, at least I can't remember, but it also had Ambroxan in the fragrance, right? So those are the three things that really stood out to me when I was wearing the scent. And it was a very linear type of fragrance, meaning that the smell of it did not change as it started to dry down hours later. Now, the longevity I got with this scent was around about six hours. Um, around the tail end of that six hours, it was definitely already kind of going in and out um, and it was pulling much closer to my skin. The actual projection I got from this fragrance, the radiation, of it for those that don't know what projecting means like when it's kind of just wafting in the air was about like half an arm's length away to an arm's length so it was close to my scent bubble and that kind of surprised me because i was thinking with a fragrance like percival that has that ambroxan that it would definitely push off more but it didn't it didn't now let me know if that was the case for you i'm sure for for a lot of people it probably does does come on does push off more but for me it was it was pretty close and the thing is I like that though because with these type of fragrances if it's a bit too strong it can get nauseating for me even though these are marketed as kind of aromatic fresh clean fragrances and typically I can get away with overspraying those whenever there's kind of ambroxan added to that it's easier for me to kind of get sick of the fragrance, you know, where I'm like, oh, this is a bit too much for me. But like Percival was was solid the whole entire time I wore it, no complaints of it. But the thing is, it was a very kind of mediocre experience wearing this fragrance. I didn't find myself wanting to keep smelling it where I was like, oh yeah, like this shit smells so good or like really enjoying the scent that much. You know what I mean? It was just, I honestly, I kind of got bored of wearing the fragrance. And the thing is, a lot of people told me on my first impression videos of this scent that I should stay patient for the first five wears. They're like, you have to wear Percival at least five times before you can start to appreciate it. And even hearing that, I was kind of like, ooh, for real? Like, why? Because usually I understand like growing into fragrances that might be a bit complex might be a little bit more challenging right but if something is already mass appealing from the jump but you know you still have to kind of take that time like five times to to wear the scent before you can really start to enjoy it, mm, it there's 
like you you make that decision for yourself some people like like kind of ramping into things like that and other people are like hey if i'm spending 300 dollars on a fragrance it needs to be an automatic love right when i smell it i don't have time for all this like oh let's get to know each other like this should be something that i click with and i understand both sides of that argument now with percival i find this to be a very mass appealing versatile type of fragrance right this is something that is amazing for spring and the summer months that are coming up and i even think for the fall and winter it's gonna be a nice fresher type of scent if you don't like sweetness if you don't want to smell like vanilla you don't like the smell of amber that much i think you're gonna enjoy this one right here especially for all of you that live in warmer climates right i would say though with humid weather this might be a little bit tricky because it's it definitely still has some strength to it that can potentially put people off if it's sprayed a bit too much and especially in closed doors like if you're in a car in a train like and it's humid outside i would still definitely be cautious with this fragrance now i think out of all the parfums de marley's that i have tried this and Leighton are probably the easiest to like. I would not be surprised if they were the most popular to the general public because they just are, they're very, like to me, they're pretty simple fragrances that are straightforward and they get the job done. And I think that having those type of scents in your collection is totally solid because sometimes you don't want something that's gonna add so much character and do all this. You're looking for just a nice, clean, good scent to throw on without having to think too hard about it. You're like, you know what? This is a good dumb, dumb reach. I'm gonna just grab it, throw it on, and know that I'm gonna smell great. And that's what this is absolutely gonna do for you. Um, but yeah, to kind of get back to the question I was asking in the beginning, do I find this to be worth it? For me personally, I don't find it to be worth it just because I do get nostalgic vibes with this fragrance, but it's kind of like that ship has sailed where I really enjoyed those type of scents and where I found them a bit wearable. Like if I smelled this maybe 10, uh, 15 years ago, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that smells amazing. But it's kind of like, you know, when you had maybe like a good time in high school and then you're like in your mid twenties, like I am right now, like I enjoyed high school, but am I going to want to relive high school and go back to it? Not really. That's kind of how I feel about Percival, where it's like a good scent that reminds me of those moments, but is it something that I am going to want to wear consistently? Is it something signature scent worthy for me to wear? No, you know what I mean? It's just like an admirable type of scent. Now, I do think that it's worth it to the people, like I mentioned before, that are not into fragrances. If you're looking for a Parfums de Marly to gift to somebody that lives in warmer weather, this is solid. I think Sedley is pretty solid too if they want more of that luxurious Sprite sort of feel and smell and definitely for the sweeter ones than i would say Leighton. but yeah i think for the like the the person you're gonna meet on the street this is something that they're gonna like like this is something you're gonna throw on and know that you smell amazing it's not really gonna the only time that this can be off-putting is if you overspray it like this can just become headache inducing if you're doing too much with it and kind of being inconsiderate of other people in like small spaces and things like that but overall not really a fragrance you can hate truly truly so let me know what you think about percival i'll put the description or i'll put the discount site link for it in the description in case you're interested but yeah let me know your thoughts i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye